and start recording and pray to the video gods. <laughs> we need to like sacrifice a tux, a Mac, and a PC, and like, it's like it wants its pagan offering. This, this mark wants its pagan offering of whatever. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you wondering what the heck I'm talking about, um, this box has already eaten a Linux. It's eaten part of the PCV Mac. It's it's eating shows this week. Uh, so yeah, yeah, right. Well, <laughs> well, you know, I, I, you know, I, I guess like the gods decided they were mad at us because I was actually like ripping Firefox a new one in Linux. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> it was like, well, you know, you can't talk bad about Firefox and Linux. Yes, I can. <laughs> it's like, ah. Uh, 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 hopefully it, we get to cover that at some point, but oh well. Um, uh, okay. Uh, we'll try and keep this short so we're not tempting the fates with the box, but what what do we, what do we want to start with here? Anybody got any preferences? Uh, some few. Hey, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, we said we were going to talk about this, so I guess we might as well since we put it on the thing from last week. Um, are you being condescending? <laughs> yeah. We still have Phil here, right? Phil, yeah. Okay, so everybody's here. Okay. Phil. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, since you three are the Mac people, I, 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 I'm gonna let y'all largely handle this one because I've said my two cents several times on this. Uh, but you know the whole. It, this is one of the things I don't like about Apple. Explain to me why this is, you know, a good thing. You know, the whole idea of the end user should never have to think about the idea of maintaining their own box and their own system. Wait, maintaining their what? Their own, their own system. You know, their own computer. You know, it's like. Um, it, no, that's not Apple's approach. I mean, they have several. You know, they have several docs. Uh, you know, discussing uh, ma maintaining your systems and everything, um, and there are a lot of different utilities, both both iOS and Mac OS X. You know, both first and third party that allow you to maintain your system. Uh, my Mac comes with a whole, you know, comes with a folder full of utility uh, software for maintaining my computer. You know. And if I'm not satisfied with that, I can get stuff from a third party. Same thing with iOS to a point. The, 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 the to a point is where I have the, is where I have well, the considering thing. That on, well, considering that on other closed platforms, I don't really get anything in terms of, uh, in terms of maintaining my system. I think that that's a little bit better than nothing. I mean, you know, if you look at other closed platforms, and there are a few out there, you know, especially like gaming consoles and everything. You know, like if you run into a software problem with Xbox 360, you have to send it to Microsoft. You know, they don't give you any way. Uh, uh, okay, problem. but I, I, I don't think comparing... Um, yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, well, okay. It, I, want, I, want a, I want actually more elaboration on the question uh, <laughs> before I answer it. Well, okay, like a few years ago when Apple came up and did their keynotes, you know, they're bashing on the whole idea of a registry because it's something that the end user should never have to think about. I, I personally am yeah, not a fan of Windows. Uh, so, uh, so. Uh, uh, the uh, idea that... Um, I just get this general feel from Apple, and, and you know, it's worse than iOS, but the general feel in terms of their marketing and the keynotes they give and everything else is that they don't, they, they, it feels like they don't want the end user to be thinking about what's going on under the hood. I, I realize that's not all Apple users, and I doubt we're dealing with 
people like that here. But well, I, I don't think the idea of having access to of having something like access to the registry or all these things well, all, is a bad thing. Well, let me say this. I think the question has a false premise because actually the majority of my clients don't want to know what's going on behind the damn computer. They don't want to think about it. They better just print their, their documents. They better calculate their numbers. And they better do it without crashing. They don't, they don't want to have to worry about maintaining. They have other stresses in their life and other partners, secretaries, colleagues, breathing down their neck that if they can get a system where they don't have to maintain it, all the better. Now, there are the other side of the demographic of people that love to know everything that goes on behind the scenes. So I don't accept the premise that it's a bad thing. In other words, marketing something and saying, hey, you shouldn't have to worry about this because they are right for many, for many of a demo, many users in a demographic. But that doesn't satisfy people who really want to get behind the scenes. But Apple also does um, address those. But there are things that we were discussing about the walled garden, which is more system decisions um, and opportunity costs. But it's I, won't, I don't accept the premise of, of that it's a bad thing and saying, oh, it's something shouldn't be maintenance free. Now, the registry, Microsoft even bitches about it themselves. You can go watch on Channel 9. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you, can, you can. You can go watch uh, Channel 9 and they'll, and they'll bitch about their own registry. I'm, gonna, I'm actually 75% of the way through a video that I will be publishing on a registry and Unix-like systems with plists and things like that. Because the registry is a great idea. It was just typical Microsoft fashion executed very poorly. No standards, no rules, and it became a hodgepodge. Okay. Well, well, I, 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 and like I, I, this is why I was trying not to give like the registry example because that's the most recent one. But I, I was referring more to the idea of like you say the the, the false. It's a false question, you know. It, it, yeah. Part of, it, it, at least from my point of view, they and say I, that the sense you get from what they're saying, what they're doing. Yeah, is is basically, and, and why I, I I'm forced to agree with Beth. If I'm sure, if we took a survey, eight out of ten people would go, I don't care. I just want to click the button. I I, I, I am okay. I, I am absolutely certain that is the case. However, yeah, ten people would say, I don't care. I just want to get in the car, turn the key, and go. Yeah. However, <laughs> yeah. Know. However, and this uh, is this is the qualifying. However, okay. No matter how well you design something, and I'm not going to get into the pro and con of if or if not Apple is well designed, because that at the end of the day, it's an end user preference. Okay. Uh, but no matter how. Well, I would argue system design within OS 10. I'm not talking about the computer, but the system design. That's one of the biggest things I've done many videos on. And, and I would include Linux uh, systems as well, but Linux fights the, what would I call it, open module and open, the, and the, the, open the, node the, the easiest, demographics. The, the that, easiest that way that to would, sum that up would be that Linux is a different animal with its own set of rules. <laughs> yeah, and, and, <laughs> but I mean, I believe its system design is awesome. I mean, look at the... Look at the um, Record to speak of, for instance, when I take IIS and Apache. Apache has much more uh, market than IIS, and the Chinese attacked both, but threw, threw down and crashed more Windows IIS servers by, what, 75% to Linux servers that went down with the, the, the same exact worm. Well, no. So a, 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 system design is, ex is extremely crucial, and I would argue that OS X, uh, I mean, that's why I personally use it. I mean, well, I think it's it's got a badass uh, well, underpinning to it. And getting back to you know the question at hand, the no matter how I mean, no matter how well it is, like we're saying, it's we're not saying that Unix or Linux is bad, you know, and like and they are different things. And for OS X side, we're talking about Unix and the Unix core and the structure underneath. But no matter how well it is, no matter how stable it is, no matter how things are going to go wrong. It, it, it's it's just gonna happen. All right, but then that's the metaphor of well, I'm going to mess up my bed anyway, so why should I make the bed? In the well, morning? no, no, no. Well, no, but see, but, see, but, but okay, but you know, it, here, here's the thing: when something goes wrong, how much of those 
tools and, and I mean it, it's fine if you I mean uh, like a perfect example is if you pop the hood on a modern car you know if you pop the hood on a modern car everything is in a plastic case why I have no idea but, <laughs> oh, yes. but everything is in a plastic case but but if you have this handy little tool called a ratchet you can take all those plastic cases off, uh, along with opposable thumbs to pop the pins, and then you can actually get at the engine. Uh, I see the analogy you're making, yes. I, I would not work on a car today. Or, I mean, to me, I just get baffled. Oh, but, 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 no, extra things you have to do versus yeah. the old stuff. But I will say, because I get your analogy now. Yeah. Now, okay. OS, OS 10 has a tremendous amount of tools. Uh, they, don't, they don't need to market that in a commercial. They, I mean, they're... Their enterprise partners get all that. If you 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 sign up and they actually have a whole business program that's called the uh, gosh dang what is it? I just I announced it on Twitter. But they have a business they have a business you about the thing that just came out recently. Yeah, they just they, now they've been getting more involved in trying to business. So there's a whole professional side. It's just that's that's not their largest demographic. It's not going to make a whole about. It. Well, and, 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 and at, at the end of the day, well, it's like, but what, like, what's for, are those tools automatically built into OS X, or are they, uh, or, or, or yes. do you have to like go get extra things from Apple to use them all? Now the tools that I'm talking about, they come with the computer, yeah. and they're on the install disk as well. But uh, I was referring um, more to the just like basic tools, and you could get more from Apple and third parties and stuff like that. You know, um, I mean, okay. Uh, now, I now have, like, I don't have too many of them on this computer. I have some on the on the other computer, like on my uh, iMac. Uh, but you know, there, there, there are a lot of computers, and, and I mean, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of tools available for the platform and everything. And some of them, and, you know, a lot of them actually are probably better than what you would get from Apple. But what Apple gives you is sufficient to do a little something. If you run into trouble. Okay. Now, but now going, I'm gonna go to bid on this one because he actually spends time in both the Apple and the Windows world. Uh, the, oh, the, uh, yeah, we, we, we feel sorry for him. He, even yeah, I. <laughs> no, I mean, I spend time in the Windows world too. Oh no. Okay. Fine. Fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah Scopus has both worlds as well. Yeah, Scopus uh, okay. Is, fine. Uh, gen, gen, general world. question to both of you and Phil. Uh, who is being silent yet again? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, um, okay. Um, now this is unfortunately a mentality that has been set up by the hacker competitions and pwn to own and, and, and other things. Uh, it it never bugged me so much uh, until recently that Windows was very unsecure out of the box because you could add things on top of it. To secure an end user desktop system, you know, you 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 could largely secure it. <laughs> I, I, what year? Are you talking about? I mean, right now, yeah, you have a lot more tools, but I mean, well, no, well, I, I, and, and honestly, I would argue in the last three years, the overall security level of a Windows system, why the out of the box security of a Windows system has gone up, I would argue in the last three years, especially. The overall securability of a Windows system has been set back about a decade. You uh, think it's gone backwards? Uh, yes, because one of the things you could do uh, is you could put in like a rootkit level firewall and so forth, and now you really can't do that. All of this stuff is subservient, so if there's holes in Windows, you can't fix them. You, you're, well, you're, uh, well, root well, rootkits are, are inherently. Weakest link being the human human driven, but I I would say in all of the clients that I've worked with, the statistics of them going down because of just system holes. We're not talking about the human factor. System breaches, uh, good lord, are drastically rare now with 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 Windows. I mean that's I made a video on how impressed I was in, in Windows learning a lot. Now they they went too far with a lot of the security and having to actually write their own Microsoft Office to start understanding user shells. But um, 
I, I can only say from what I've observed and all the all the companies that uh, I've seen the IT departments and they're of course you have to restart and do all these other maintenance things with Windows, but security they've they've been I would say more uptime than they used to be. <laughs> Well, okay, but there, there's uptime and then there's overalls, and there's a lot of things we could go into on, you know, the pros and cons of what Windows is or isn't doing, but we're in iWorld right now. Um, but, you know, it's just getting into this thing. Basically, we're trying to get into the overall thing here of, um, and this goes to what you just brought up, there's the the secure aspect and then there's the social exploit aspect Correct. and the two inevitably wind up interlinked it's one of those things I, I, I kind of but how, how do you stop a social aspect let's well, say you're a root administrator and someone fools you into downloading something. I mean, well, no, yeah, well, this, the only, the only, <laughs> the only way you stop that is with education, and, and uh -huh. you know, basically, a, a you adopt the mindset: I'm not on a trouble-free system. Uh, I'm on a system that can be exploited if I do something I shouldn't do, and I need to be cautious, not 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 afraid. There's a very big difference between cautious. And afraid, and and, and and there's this. It, 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 I argue Linux has this too, unfortunately, right now. It, but it, it um, I, I would argue, unfortunately, I think Apple has a little more because anytime I try and bring up security concerns for the Apple platform, whether it's for iOS or OS 10 or you know the idea, guys, you're susceptible. You need to be exercising common sense. You need to have your common. You need to be having your common sense shields up. You, you need to. You need to be operating under the premise that you can be attacked. You are going to be attacked. You are a target. It, don't don't live in this magic eye world bubble, and, and it, it, it the answer I almost verbatim get, especially out of Apple people, is boy I should just run for the hills because there's you know theoretical stuff being seen by security forms. Like, ah, nah, 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 nah. You hate Apple. Nah, 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 nah. It's like it's like this isn't my hate Apple hat. This is my IT guy. You know my security hat. My people. Common sense, please. Uh, overall right. user education up. Let, let, let's not be stupid. Because <laughs> uh, the only reason these social engineering scams work is because of uneducated users. And uneducated users is a problem regardless of platform. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, I understand that. Um, you know, look, there, there are a lot of uh, uh, you know, third-party uh, software solutions that are actually pretty popular. Name a few. Know, like, well, for instance, on my computer, uh, you know, on my computers, I keep a, you know, a little application. Well, not actually an application. It's, a, um, it's like a, a plug-in or, uh, or something along those lines. But it, it's, it's in my preferences. Uh, like, well, not in my preferences. But it's, uh, it's a, uh, it's a uh, plug-in for Mac OS called a Little Snatch. And it lets me know what's going on in my network. You know, no, like no application can communicate. You know, like no application can uh, phone home or whatever. So basically, it's a bi-directional firewall. Right. Okay. You know, like like basically, if a if an application wants to phone home or send information somewhere or whatever, then little snitch says, "Hey, you know, this program wants to do this. What do you want to do about that?" And you know, if the program isn't something that I need to have phone home or whatever, I just say, man, you know, lock it out forever. I don't want that, you know, program phoning home. Of course, I can change the rules later on. Uh, it's scope, stuff like that. scope, is it spelled like I spelled it there? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. spelled, it's spelled, uh, and is it, and is it like dot .com or dot .net or, like, do they have a website? No, 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 it's, it's called Little Snitch, hold on. So I mean, it's just a basic application. It's just a basic uh, piece of software. I wouldn't call it an application. So. Uh, okay, but it's it, it's. I'm assuming it's third party. Yeah, it's I, third party. Uh, how much is it? Uh, how much 
or something like that. Yeah, uh, right now it's uh, like right now it's like a twenty nine ninety five. Okay. Okay, uh, it, now, I'm naive in this respect because I haven't played with iOS enough in that respect. Uh, is, no, 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 I, I know this is for OS X. Is there an equivalent app to something like this for iOS? In iOS? Well, I don't know. Uh, I haven't really researched that with iOS. I know that uh, when you download an app for iOS, if that app wants to, uh, you know, phone home or, or something like that, like, like the app wants to access certain things on your computer or phone home or what have you, you know, just like with Android, you know, it says, look, you know, this app wants to be able to do these things. Mm -hmm. Will you allow it? Well, but, but, but my honest recommendation for all Android users, you know, I gave it, there's like a list of eight security applications. You know, uh, there's a firewall, there's a, an encrypted uh, backup, so if you get something, you know, you don't lose your data. There's a virus scanner. There, there's, there's like a list of eight security tools that basically, th these are must-haves for everybody. For, for, and, and, and most of them are free. A few of them are a few bucks. But most of them are free, and, and you know the thing we're trying to get into here is um, uh, the mentality that just because it's an Apple device doesn't mean you shouldn't be exercising this common sense. You know, there's a reason I have Firestarter on my Linux boxes, and I have Zone Alarms. Or well, you know, actually, I used to love Zone Alarms. Zone Alarms is not what they used to be for Windows. <laughs> Um, but it, it, it basically, one of the things we're trying to do here is put together the short list of a Apple users. You should have these applications to protect you and be exercising common sense because nothing's yeah. nothing's going to save an Apple user from. Would you like to install this malware? Would you like to install this malware? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's going to be called malware. You, you well. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, are are are, are this love are this lovely plugin that'll do this thing or so? Yeah, that was a lot of that stuff on Mac OS now. Yeah, well, no, well, and there's been some of that in OS ten in recent years. Uh, and it, it, yeah, but 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 with, like yeah, that's but that's the issue with a lot of the um a lot of the OS ten malwares is that it, you know in a lot of cases they need the users like they need the user of. Uh, you know, the end user to hold its hand every step of the way. Um, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, but it, uh, I, I, like that. Uh, um, I would argue, unfortunately, and I, I said I'm going to say the same thing against Linux. Unfortunately, if to do administrative things, you know, it's like, oh, let me provide my administrative, or in the case of Linux, root credentials to do this thing. You know, you get in the habit of just doing it. Right. And, and, yeah. and that's where the social engineering exploit comes in. It's like it, you, you make it, oh, this is just another day-to-day do-it thing. Right. Well, you know, my advice to those people is, you know, look, uh, don't download any software from the system that you, that, that you like, like you're not absolutely sure that, the, you know, that that software does what it says it's supposed to do, then don't download it. And if somebody just wants to send you an application you're not sure about it, you know, don't download, don't use it. I mean, I wouldn't do that on Windows or any other system, so why would I do it on Mac OS X? Well, no, and, and, and honestly, like on a modern Windows system, that's primarily the way you get infected, too, is doing, yeah, something, is doing something you shouldn't do. You know, it's like we can argue all day Windows has this many viruses and OS X has this many viruses and Linux has this many viruses, but the reality is it only takes one virus, worm, or trojan and a weak bit of gray bit behind the keyboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. Um, you know, I mean, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I think that, I think in a situation like that, it would really be a common sense thing. Um, because, because, look, there's been a lot of applications that I've seen for, you know, Mac OS X that I didn't download because I didn't know, uh, you know, like I didn't know anything about the application, and I didn't really know whether or not it, would, uh, you know, what, like whether or not it would do what I wanted it. You know, fortunately, uh, you know, fortunately, you know, there's software out there that I don't know about. There's usually somebody in the community that actually does know something about it, and I 
I, I, I don't suppose any of y'all have those lovely friends who are like, hey, will you do me a favor and try this out for me? It's like... <laughs> I think both uh, both are valid, but um, I, it, th this is one of the things I'm a little concerned. I I I mean everybody's bashing on Android right now because of the recent malware thing, uh, and you know it, it the the point that's largely being glazed over. And I'm sorry to be dragging PC versus Mac and Linux into this. You know the, it was supposed to be separate, but you know Linux got eight, so. <laughs> Um, it, it, it's, I mean, all of this required the end user doing something dumb. And, and I would argue that iOS is just as susceptible to this, if not possibly more so, because of the false premise that... Wait, wait a minute, are you talking about the, uh, the, the whole 21 app uh, deal thing? Uh, uh, I, well, okay, if, it, if it's going to happen on iOS, it's going to happen in a different way. But that doesn't mean it isn't going to happen. Like well, wait a minute, a different way. A user-driven user uh, user exploit isn't going to be a user-driven exploit. What it does to the system, I guess, is up to the developer. But Android chooses to, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a developer of both. Android chooses to filter um, on the back end, why, and that's why they sent the remote kill, whereas um, Apple is extremely stringent just to get on the dang market. So, you know, but there are pros and cons, because I can, t I can tell you there's a lot of developers that bitch about Apple being so damn stringent and that their rules are too draconian, and therefore just getting an app on isn't even worth it. And there's a lot of good talent going away because of some of, some of the rules in place. Well, and, 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 and the reason I'm bringing that up when we were going over all the security thing is because, like, what you're saying and bringing up that... And at the end of the day, I don't think ultimately it's fixing what the real problem is. And the real problem is you need to educate dumb people right. not to be dumb people. Because dumb people can still do dumb things on an iPhone. They're just going to do them in a different way. Uh, well, you told me, yeah, you said that the, the icons or something toward the applications in the Android store that were downloaded were spoofs and didn't have, like, the logos were altered a bit or they didn't have the name. And, yeah, and they, they were, were asking for, no like, full access to everything. I mean, these were, yeah. like, red neon signs saying, don't yeah. install this app, and, and dumb people install the app. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, you know, look, um, you know, even Apple, 
Well, no, well, but, but see, uh, well, but, but see, um, I, I, well, I, I, I but, but that's... There's two different approaches, really. What, both, are, both have pros and cons. Well, no, no, no like, like, that's why I'm saying. Both have pros and cons being here. Too, by being too strict. Oh, well, and, well and, and like the too strict is causing a problem, and the and the being all laissez-faire is causing a different problem. But at the end of the day, the root issue that's behind this whole situation is like you're saying, and even Apple can't solve this problem 100%. I mean, the sad thing is, spammers are still making millions of dollars a year. <laughs> it's like, it's like, uh, I'm sorry. The sad thing is, spammers are making money. <laughs> it's like, it's like, if, if spammers are making money, that means there's plenty of dumb people in the world. There just are. Uh, but uh, iOS needs not to be operating under the delusion that it's immune to this. Will it likely come? through the Apple App Store? Probably not, but there's no guarantee it won't either because Apple has missed... Well, wait, wait a minute. Apple's well. had... I wouldn't call them Trojans, but there have been um, applications like I'm Rich. Like, I think the vet, I think the vetting process was totally lost on that one. Well, no, I well, mean, well, well, you know, there was, a, there was an exorbitant price and it did nothing. I mean, obviously there's quality control and I think that's... Oh, well, look at look at something like that. Are you, are you really going to ethically allow something? Well, I guess you could because I'm I'm for uh, I'm for actually just having individual responsibility, and that includes the whole this gay cure application. I think that yeah. business should stay out of being a more morality police, even though they have the right to do whatever they want. Yeah. I don't think it's any businesses. Well, yeah, you, 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 dictating morals. I, I don't know if you watched uh, PC this week, but I gave my two cents on that. I told both sides to shut the hell up on that. I just think once you start dictating morals in your applications, then you, then you, it's a slippery slope, and then yeah, you're not gonna. You're, it's either one side or the other, and I don't. And I think a business should try to stay out of the, the choosing or being subjected to choose, and that actually goes with porn. You know, uh, well, yeah, no, see, the, uh, that, that, that's the thing. Apple would not be in that position if they had not appointed themselves the decency police of the store. The moment they appointed themselves the decency police of the store, they put themselves in that position. Well, yeah, I but, mean, look, Apple runs into uh, flack uh, like that, whether they approve or disapprove, uh, you know, apps like that or books like that or whatever. And then there were some. It's their right to, though. It's their right. See, I can't oh, say that, that they're that, wrong. I'm just saying, in my opinion, it's a slippery slope when you start being a morality. Police. Well, and, and, and getting back both to the slippery slope, quality control, and catching innovative at attacks. At the end of the day, the real problem here is you can only scan for things you know to be looking for. And if you don't know to be looking for them, and you know, you can make the argument, well, Apple wrote iOS and Apple wrote all the sign, and sign. But it, it, at the end of the day, that's not necessarily enough to catch everything. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. What are you getting the premise that they're bragging about no security exploits? Because I haven't seen a, um, I actually haven't seen a keynote or a commercial like they have with OS ten. No, specifically the, 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 on the, virus I, 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 And I'm glad that Apple has not taken that approach with iOS. Unfortunately, yeah, the Apple fanboys have taken it up for them. <laughs> I, I know that, but it, it's the re, it's the responsibility of. You know, but basically, we're we're talking about this because. I, I, I'm not. This is this is me being as nice as I can because I don't like Apple. But at, at the end of the day, this isn't bashing Apple. This is trying to address the real issue of people need to realize and be informed. The, I mean, if you, the fact that you can unlock an iOS device simply by going to a web page, mm -hmm. that should actually scare the shit out of a lot of people. Uh, from a security standpoint, because that is something that requires full access and control. Wait, wait, of the wait, wait! That is user intervention, and he, I know you. I saw your video. Whether it's remote or on a cable is irrelevant. No, I it, know. It's, that, that's a, it's a user. It's a user intervention. To you have to still physically control your phone to accept the new firmware. I mean, I'm yeah, yeah, all yes. about jailbreaking. Yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah. No, no, I know. Yes, it requires interaction from the end user. 
But that's the thing. All of these things require the end user to do something. And it's not a bad thing that you can do them. Like I said, jailbreaking is a great thing, and I'm sure there's plenty yeah, of Apple, users see, that Apple don't. doesn't endorse it like, you know, HP would endorse Homebrew and, uh, and Microsoft with theirs. See, they don't, even, they don't want you to because, yes, if you jailbreak, there are a lot of exploits that will take over your phone because you don't, you don't bother changing a lot of the port signs or... Uh, what is it, those base IPs that you can come in through? I mean, there's tons of exploits if this phone has been jailbroken for people just not paying attention to changing certain settings that are now exposed once you do jailbreak it. Yeah, I, I, well, no, and this is part of the reason I wish Apple wasn't... Uh, I, I, I guess I understand their anti-jailbreak. This is part of the reason I wish Apple wasn't so anti-going outside the iStore that it was more a a built-in feature like experimental or, or developer mode it, because then you wouldn't have to open everything to do that. Well, okay, okay, but here's, the, but, 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 but here's the thing, okay, at the end of the day, Apple is a corporation that has to perform. So when you want to see something like that, what you have to think about is really what's in it for Apple. Why would Apple do that? Uh, um, good PR dealing with like Bit was talking about earlier okay, for the actually, developers. Actually, there is a, there is a uh, release from Apple. Apple did warn jailbreakers. It says, uh, Apple wants jailbreak iPhone 4 users of the issues with the process. So there is a press release from Apple to jailbreakers. Um, now, now, did that come before or after their lobbyists failed to convince Washington, D.C. that this should be a a violation I of... <laughs> yeah, I, 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 and, you know, like Bits saying there's... This is in 2010. There's one in two, Apple warns of iPhone, iPad, iPod security flaw. So they're out there. I mean, they're... I mean, they're see, Apple is, uh, is advising iPhone, iPad, and iPod users not to open PDF files uh, until a patch is released for a key vulnerability. So, successful exploits of the flaw would enable attackers to take control of the targeted iPhones, iPads, or iPod touch devices security researchers have found. Using and, a uh, PDF. Yeah, this, this flaw is in the way of uh, Apple iOS 4, deals with PDF files that can be exploited if the user tri is tricked into visiting a website containing a malicious PDF file. Yeah. Uh, so they, they, issue, they issue, I mean, officially press releases. Yeah, well, but it, it's still the general mentality is this doesn't occur, and that's the, 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 I, I, again. I, this well, is educate the users, and I get it. Yes, yeah. yes. I, I, there are many Mac users that go around and think, and the minute you balk at balk at them and say, "Hey, you could have vulnerability," you're immediately anti Apple. I yeah. get it. Yeah. And, you know, uh, oh yeah. no, and, and I honestly think why I. I I'm not in the Apple ecosystem enough to have a general idea of if that's like 10% of the users, 20% of the users, 50% fanboy. I, 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 I don't know. But I would argue in th that there's a good chunk of Apple users that are in between. You know, they're not technical users uh, and they're not fanboys. You know, they're, they're in between. They're just users. They just want it to work. But at the end of the day, you know, they'll listen to an authoritative fanboy as much as they will a technical person, and mm -hmm. they operate under it. I think they're doing a lot of harm to that ecosystem because they're they're basically turning large they're turning large numbers of the user into sacrificial lemmings, which is not fair to those users. Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's why, that's why I that's why a lot of my own videos. And, and Scopus could tell you is uh, I, I debate other Mac users about points where I think that they're just repeating sound bites and little mantras that are, could have no validity to them. Uh, and, and, and because I believe that you should teach technology, and then once somebody understands it, they are better informed. But yeah, I deal with that all the time. I was accused of putting the Mac community on YouTube at one point. <laughs> Oh, I've seen some of your videos. I'm sure you have split the Mac community. <laughs> anyway, Scopeless, what were you going to say? Uh, actually, hold on. Before you talk, Scopeless, Philip, we need to hear more out of you. <laughs> well, just to add um, in that from my point of view, the way I see it, as long as you understand it, just because 
compared to Windows, they, the viruses and trojans don't exist and you are aware, I mean obviously that they are a good well level below the top of Windows amount, but the thing is, is as long as you're aware that they exist and obviously what you're saying about fanboys and what have you, obviously people are never more fans of Apple than when they first start getting into their ecosystem. So obviously those are, those are probably the worst kind of people to listen to because they're, they're probably just as new as the new users who need to be informed. Yeah, well, and, and I mean, like 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 uh, Scope was saying, you know, it, it's I mean, the checklist for any system, uh, if you can get them, is firewall, antivirus, and basic common sense for the end user. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I, I, honestly, I think any any Apple user who isn't running some equivalent to something like Little Snitch uh, probably should install it. <laughs> yeah, well, there's yeah, there are a variety of um, you know, there are a variety of uh, utilities for for both iOS and, well, I, like, of course, there's way more for Mac OS 10 than there are for iOS, but there are, um, you know, there's software for both, uh, you know, for both platforms that, you know, will allow you to better secure you now, know, now, data and stuff, and, and actually Apple also provides you with some tools to protect your, uh, like, your information or your device. Now on I on iOS, is it that nobody has tried to develop them? Is it that they think there isn't a market for them because it's an uh, Apple I'm device, sure that, or is it that sure Apple that doesn't people, want them? Well, I'm sure that people are trying to develop. Like, like wait, wait, are people? What do you mean? Are people trying to develop uh, software to, to to protect the platform, or are people? Uh, yeah, like the, uh, the uh, like the equivalent to. F uh, uh, unfortunately, th this is one of the things I don't like about the computer industry in general. People wait. People like leave the. Uh, generally, the industry leaves the floodgates wide open until somebody takes advantage of the floodgates, and then they decide, hey, maybe we should start securing the floodgates. <laughs> um, and and it's until they see money in it, obviously. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I'm like, you know, if, if if the last 30 years of computers has taught us anything, it's if you leave the gates open long enough, somebody will take advantage of it. Well, Panda, Panda Security has released the uh, antivirus software for that Apple, Apple's iOS. Okay, so so this does exist now for iOS. Yeah. Uh, is it free like or is it... free as well. Let's see. Okay, so, so you can get the same thing. Uh... Roundabout, how much is it going to cost you to like get uh, basic uh, firewall and antivirus? Because you you can do it for twenty bucks at most on Android, usually less. Can you do it for about the same on iOS? Let me see. I mean, th this is a worthwhile investment. You spent enough thing on the de you spent enough money on the device. You're spending money on these apps. You're doing things. You, this is something you should be doing. <laughs> There's their product, see. <laughs> <At this point. laughs> yeah, regardless of where you stand on the war in the open thing, it's like this should be your checklist the day you get the device. Let me see. I'm on their website. I'm trying to find the products here. I, I really wish. I, I really wish iTunes would get a cloud-based store. I really wish they would. <laughs> They just make it so much easier. <laughs> uh, well, there's Panda Antivirus for the Mac. Let's see, come on. That's for the, the Mac, not I just, iOS. I just saw the... Uh, <laughs> wow, I'm not here. Well, I think that there's an antivirus uh, app for the Mac that, uh, that will allow you to uh, scan your iOS device if you sync it with your Mac. See, but see, th 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 that... Um, what what I would it really needs to be on the device so you can catch it, you know, as, as it. No, I understand. Like I understand that, um, but that's just off the top of my head. I haven't really looked that up. Right. You know. I mean, oh, oh, although you you do want remote scans like that because something uh, I, I could honestly see something like this getting by Apple scans because Apple may not be looking for it would be somebody is putting something in the, some like an amalgamation of things that are designed to propagate off the device when you plug it in. Their target is not iOS. Their target is either OS 10 or Windows or something else. 
Oh no! Hey, hey, hey! Just because it's easier, does on, on some of this stuff, it's a script kitty going for capture the flag bragging uh, rights. Uh, Ed security is in your entire package is uh, the Pandian iMac from Mac includes iPhone, iPod, and iPad. Okay, so sounds like that would be the antivirus you'd want to be buying for Mac then, because you'll act if you if you're an i if you're an iWorld Apple person, sounds like the one you want to be getting because it's more yeah. total package thing. Okay, see, there, there's got to be some apps here. Yeah, I, 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 I just go to iTunes, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you can find some, because like, I, honestly, this isn't bashing. This is trying to give people. It's like, install this. Be secure. Don't don't be don't be. You know that that's actually a mark of intelligence that you're operating under the premise of. Well, I should be exercising some common sense. You know, think of it like safe sex for the Mac. You know, that's <laughs> like to take it to a dirty place that'll run in people's minds. Okay, we've we've hashed on this enough. Let's uh, move on a little bit to. Um, uh, there is a, yeah, McAfee has one. How much? It's free. Okay. Um, let's see, iPad apps. It's also free on that one, and then there's ThreatCon. From it looks like it's from some uh, from Norton. Let's see. I'm gonna have mixed feelings trusting Norton because it's Norton. Uh, <laughs> Antivirus Detective, which is ninety nine cents. Okay. So they're, they're, they're free to a dollar to a few bucks, just like on the... Okay. Oh, Essent has one, which is free. Um, yeah, because I like Essent's not Nod32 for Windows. They're really good. Yeah. Now, the, now the interesting thing would be uh, what percentage of iOS users are actually installing these versus what percent think they don't need them. Uh, the majority of them are free on here. I, I, no, 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 that, that, that's the thing. If it's free, there's no reason whatsoever not to be downloading it. it this yeah. should be just like the default. It, uh, I, I mean, I'm not saying Apple should have it in there, but it's like it's the first thing you should go get. <laughs> it's like, because it's free. <laughs>